I think it was a Thursday when the call came in. The man wasted no time getting to the point. I need a film about someone who rides bikes, and rides them hard, he said. And I'll be a f***ing hero in the marketing department if you can deliver it by the 15th. I said that's impossible. Our editor's way too slow. Let's call it the first, and I know just the guy. His name is Doom. I called up Doom, who's an underground semi-professional adventurer. It's a pretty tough career path. And maybe not the best career path as a 44-year-old person. I asked if we could follow him around with cameras on one of his trips, and he said, only if I can bring my sweetie. I paused for a moment and just processed the fact that someone named Doom just said sweetie. He's a good boyfriend. <laughs> Doom's specialty is exploration of remote places, specifically using bikes paired with tiny inflatable boats, linking trails to water for the purpose of covering hundreds of miles. Getting to a place under your own power, that turns me on. I just looked up the word masochistic to see if it would fit for what Doom does. It said deriving sexual gratification from one's own pain or suffering. So I guess not. No, no one else is doing that stuff. Like, more and more people are doing it these days, but like still it's, it's a fraction of, you know, the people that come out here. And, and still, like, if someone does see you doing this weird thing, like coming to a river and blowing up this little boat that's in your pack, everyone's just like, what? wait, what's that? It's like this new thing and it blows their friggin' minds. Every single time we have this secret weapon that's not a weapon at all, it's just a little rubber boat. When you meet Doom, it's quickly apparent the name hardly fits the man before you. I mean, just look at him. I think if he were any more humble, he'd just float away. <laughs> I've met people who've known him for years and had no clue he was a three-time mountain bike world champion. And not just some pansy little bike race. He'd race solo for 24 hours straight with only one gear. And rumor has it he did it without even shaving his legs or his chest. What the f was your childhood like? Were you kind of a dork? Or like, were you, yeah. were you a huge, amazing athlete? Like no. A <laughs> Doom grew up in a tiny Colorado town, graduating class of 20. His mom sent me some killer photos, but you're not allowed to show anyone under 21 in a beer commercial, so you'll just have to use your imagination. He's always ridden bikes like he stole them, so it was only fitting that he stole his first bike. I guess my sister got a decent-ish mountain bike. I just started riding it, and she was kind of pissed. But she wasn't riding it, so I felt like it was okay. Then I remember going out, I had like a big like two-liter jug of Kool-Aid and like maybe a peanut butter jelly sandwich that my mom probably made for me. And then I rode down to Conquistador, the old ski area there. I totally ran into all my high school kind of friends, but they were like the cool guys. And they were just driving up the road smoking weed. I was like super stoked on what I'd just done. And they were like, whatever, Fast Finder, see you later, you know, <laughs> like peel off. <laughs> but it's definitely like a, a, a deep memory there of like connecting with a bike for the first time. Let's fast forward 25 years, because this film's supposed to be short for the internet. Doom has hit his stride, mostly quit his day job, and found clever ways to make living the dream pay the bills. He and his desert pirate friends dream up masochistic, but in a non-sexual way, ideas all over the world. Tajikistan last year, Pakistan the year before, biking over some glaciers, which was good at times and terrible at other times. <laughs> it wasn't the best balance, I would say. Lots of stuff around here, a uh, area, southern nation. You can go pretty deep there. Biking, pack rafting, Alaska on many, many trips, Canada, South America, trip over the Andes, Chile to Argentina, and then back again. <laughs> he even stashes things in the desert in case of emergency. This cache was here for seven years. Food drop. Please leave this bucket as you found it. Thanks. Running out of water is the worst. I mean, that was 20 years ago when that happened to me, but <laughs> I was desperate. And it was only a day. I can come to this place, same place that I've been to 20 times now probably, and there's no way I have not scratched the surface. There's a million other corners out here. That, and they're right next to corners I've already gone past. <laughs> While we were filming, I remember being worried that Doom was going too big on the product placement, because you're not actually allowed to show anyone drinking beer in a beer commercial. I asked his sweetie if he was doing that just for the camera, and she said no, he just likes beer. <laughs> I guess that's actually pretty fitting for a guy named Doom. But according to his mom, his name's Steve.
Yeah, I could, I could retire. I'm ready to sit on the couch and watch some football for a while. <laughs> Hardly. No, I mean, I'm just getting started. <laughs>